nerd dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 39 in our series, Create a Ruby Gem, Nerd Dice. So in our previous episode, we implemented the die class representing a particular die. And there were a few things I noticed or had ideas for after I completed that episode that are kind of small, quick hit sort of things that we'll try to see how far we get in this episode. So the first thing is that if I look at my, we'll move this into progress. If I look at my class on GitHub and go to the coverage section, if I go to feature die object, you can see our, our coverage has gone down a bit. We look at our list of files and the die file, we can see that this generator override equals statement is not currently being covered. Uh, in the previous episode, I kind of fumbled through this trying to call it on line 43 without the instance variable there. And then I um, added a separate check override method to do that. So the reason why it wasn't working is that it was trying to create a new local variable general generator override uh, and, and assign ops generator override to it. So when you're doing this with an attribute writer um, and you want to call it, you explicitly need to use the self dot notation in order to do that. So if I make that change, run my specs, they still pass. And then I can take this private method that we were calling, we're calling it twice now, which we don't want to do. Uh, and we can move this logic back into our attribute writer method here. So instead of check override, we'll do it like that. Get rid of the puts statement in both of these. Get rid of the check override method altogether. Rerun our specs. All looks good. Rubicop did not get angry with us. So I think that that's a, a more elegant way to write this. So call self dot your writer and then um, pass that into that. Put the check directly in that writer method now that we don't need to call it from two different contexts. So that solves that. Let's get back to our repo. So we'll, we'll look at that again at the end. So we've got, I think, let me search the entire code base for our put statements. Only the benchmark, which we, we want those there. So, all right. So that one, I think we can call done. The next thing I want to do is implement the comparable, comparable, let me say that correctly, um, interface uh, module in the die class. So the way that this will work right now, if I go into bin console and I do die one equals nerd dice die. die two. So we look at die one as a value of five, die two as a value of three. If I do 
die one greater than die two, right now it'll error out and say that there's no uh, undefined method. So if we look at die one methods. So we've got a series of methods here. Some of them we've created, some of them you get by virtue of um, extending the, um, by virtue of it being an object. So this nerd dice die dot class dot class is class. So what we're going to do now is we're going to in our spec here we're going to and this might get long enough that it needs to go in its own file but we'll at least Describe our comparable methods and then we're going to specifically um, set the seed so that we've got expected values for these rather than random ones. So we'll play around with that. But the idea is I mean, we could go on and on. We, we know how greater than and equal, like essentially how comparable works. So as long as we kind of get a situation where they're unequal, um, let's see how that goes. say before each do and function dot whatever our make a random rand our configuration which is in the nerd dice object technique we'll make that random rand and then we will call refresh seed
anticipate that die 2 will be greater than die 1, but we'll change our seed if it's not. So we'll try that. We'll see how Rubocop oh, describe class. Failing examples. Oh, nerd dice. Need to explicitly call that on the module. be boring here and make die 3 and die 4 a d1 and these need to be separate it blocks Three failures. You can see even though die three and die four are D ones, this starts off as being false. Um, so by default, your um, your double equal statement will um, look for exact same objects there when it's trying to compare them. So that's not what we have right now. Now we'll go in and try to make these pass in our die class. So we will include comparable and then when you include comparable you need to define the um, that comparison method be I think that will solve the issue oh. might need to be 
self.value. Still failing. It's not responding to less than or greater than. Make sure I save it and make sure I've got comparable spelled correctly. So let's take a look at this in the console. Die one is a four, die two is a six. is coming back true. That is coming back false. That is going to be false. Let's roll. Now they're the same, I think. Yeah, so that's working. So the, the problem might be in our spec. Then, so maybe I just need to go in here and be similar to things. All right, now we're back to passing, so we had to explicitly use the comparator operators there, but that now gives us what we want. Our spec is happy. We might not need that anymore. So, got rid of it. The value. All right, we're still passing. That gives us what we want. I think we can move that. Story to done, and then I think we'll we'll stop there. Look at our so. Changes look good, so we'll commit them, and then we'll take the uh, take on the next two in our next video. Write our commit message. So we've got our message. We'll sign it. We've got it now. We will try pushing it to our branch.
check the GitHub action, let it finish. Our build succeeded. Let's now go check out coveralls again, see if we've fixed our class. still slightly below no, it hasn't updated yet we'll let it update so it took a little while but you can see now that the the nerd the nerd dice die class is now 100% covered and we're back to to full coverage so we'll stop there and pick up the other two in the next up the other two uh, backlog items in our next story thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf